a living museum filled with hundreds of acres of trees, shrubs, and plants for you to explore. And Eileen Whalen is at the National Arboretum to tell us more. Eileen? Yeah, guys, you know, this is such a beautiful spot, and what perfect weather to be here. The National Arboretum is part of the U.S. Department of Agriculture, and, you know, I'm so excited to be joined by Scott Aker, who is the head of horticulture and education, and you are going to educate us on what to do with these azaleas. Yes, everybody has azaleas, and they're unsure how to prune them. I'm going to yeah. give you the quick and dirty on that. All right. Um, First of all, don't use pruning shears. These are not boxwood hedges that need to be evened out into a geometrical pattern, and they don't stay healthy if you do that. Okay, so what are we using? We're using a saw because oh. I'm doing something called renewal pruning. If you notice here, this branch has some growth that's really kind of small on it, mm -hmm. and some of the other branches have much larger leaves. They're more vigorous. Yeah. We want to keep the plant vigorous so that it produces larger, healthier flowers next year. Okay. So what I'm going to do is quite simple. Since this is a shrub that will grow from the base, regrow from the base, I'm going to make a single cut. You're chopping that whole thing down. That's right. Oh, wow. That part out. What that will do is that will cause... Uh, more growth, more vigorous growth from the base of the shrub. These shrubs are programmed to do this, okay. so they do well with this kind of pruning. So they come up every year. So when do they typically bloom? Is it like early to mid-May? It's late April to mid-May, okay. okay. and this is the perfect time to do the pruning. Don't delay because before we get to the end of June, they'll be setting their flower buds, and if you prune then, you're cutting off flower buds for next spring. Okay, so what we still have over here, just so that people know, so if you were to, to do the right, I mean, would this this be something? Do you keep this? I mean, because it looks like it's all um, dead. Well, the dead here is actually a disease called petal blight. Uh -huh. um, though that will eventually shed off the plant, and there's no problem with that. Okay. You really don't have to do any other pruning on this. If you have a plant that's too tall, you can go in and take out some of the taller branches, but you want to go back to where they meet another branch. Oh, so you okay. could do that, for instance. All right. The key thing is when you're done, you don't want it to be obvious that you've, it's like a good haircut. Yes. You don't want it to be obvious that you did a lot of pruning. Okay. All right. Well, these are all great tips. And, you know, the weather's going to be nice if you want to head out this morning to do a little bit of that pruning. Scott, thank you so much for thank your you. expertise. We really appreciate it. So get out, get pruning. But if you are going to be pruning, make sure that you keep an eye to the sky later today because there could be a few storms. Anyways, Larry and Kelly, back inside to you.